Hello again. <clears throat> so we are going to finish up the turkey pot pies. I'm excited to try them. This has been simmering for a while. It's nice and thick. I think it's perfect. It really is. Yeah. Okay. Let's put this in over table. It's good. I do not have those, but I do have that green bean casserole. Green bean casserole. I think that might. Green bean casserole together. Okay. Got some turkey gravy right there. Oh, you know, I should have put that gravy in there. Huh. I'm going to bring this back up a little bit. And I'm going to put the extra gravy. Oh, crap. Haunts. I've dropped about eight things today already. I just don't have enough hands to hold on to everything. Put the rest of those in there. Good idea. Got a little bit of dishes going on here. That's all right. This is for toppings. Okay, so now we have to. Let's see. We should probably put. This is the leftover green bean casserole. Give it 
got some nice flavor and some green beans in there. I'm just trying to get them underneath so I don't get those onions in there. Probably don't want those in there. I hope it turns out good. I probably got way too much. I'm turning the rest of it into soup or put it in a bigger pan. <laughs> I'm putting it in a bigger pan. Oh, let's see. What am I going to use? Yeah, I think just kind of putting all the leftovers in there is good, right? So I got green beans, and got gravy, so nothing really goes to waste this way. Now we'll just cut up some turkey. <sighs> this one is so hard to close. I don't hardly ever use it because it's so hard to close. I think I'm going to, I don't know, maybe not. I was thinking about something and I changed my mind just as quick as I thought of it. But no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take some of this turkey. Here's a nice big turkey breast right here. Try it. It'd be good. Turkey chips. <laughs> so weird. Okay, so we're just gonna keep this happen. Well, it looks good, and there's a lot of it, that's for sure. But I could, I could just turn this into a ragu after. So my brain is going, because I have too much of this for those. But what I'm thinking is I could just turn it into a ragu, right? dog he says um about me mom about me mama I think you can have that he says yes I can thank you very much <laughs> thank you thank you thank you very much turkey. He's, he has been in heaven this last couple of days with this turkey. He's like, Mom, can I have another bite? No. So I'm going to make three. Two, one big one and two small ones. So I'm thinking maybe just a little bit more turkey. I'm going to spoon um, I'm going to what am I going to do? What to do to do? Okay. Maybe I'll mix them in separate. Right? I don't know. I'll figure it out. 
This looks like a good piece right here. Nice, good white meat. Yummy, Skippy. Mmm. <laughs> I'll tell you, this was the t most tender turkey of all time. It's so good. And we have so much meat left. Look at this whole big pan of meat. So, I think I'll make the ragu as well. Give it a couple different flavors, you know? Alright, this is good. Let's turn this off. That, we got everything incorporated. It's a little salty. I think the turkey will definitely help it. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a bunch in there. I'm bummed to not having. No, I do have green beans in there. I would have put peas in there if I had I had a piece of can of peas, but I do not because we don't like peas. I have no carrots because we don't like carrots. We used to have those little baby carrots in the fridge all the time. However, that was for my other dog, um, Sophie, his aunt. And she loved those little baby carrots. And then I would eat them too because they were in there. Right? I don't like cooked carrots. So Cooked carrots and squash and yams is just something that I just don't like, I guess. I could, it could have been because of that pumpkin eating contest that I went through. I was so sick after eating a whole pumpkin pie to myself. I should have won too, but I did not because the little boy thought I had to eat all my crust and I didn't. Only the boys did, but he won because he threw a fit. I, I probably basically just, you know, just let him win, I don't care. All right. Well, that's a nice piece of turkey right there. I think I'll save that. This is really good. Okay. I think this is enough turkey. I'll just put that in here. And then we will load up. And break on 400, right? 400, pay. 375. That was a pretty big pan of stuff. Maybe we should put more turkey in there. Yeah, I'm going to cut up a little more. Let me do that. We're going to cut up more. A nice little piece back down here too. That has some fat on it even. No, no, no. Oh God. No. You don't get to be in there. Let's take this skin off. Oh, that's part where we had some. Oh, that's probably going to be a good bite right there. Seasoned butter under there. Mm, that's good. Ow! Be careful, piglet. hand is not turkey. That'd be nice taking the food. You can't grab it like that. You're such a grabby kid. Grabby dog. He's a fault alarmer grabby dog. That's what you are. Fault alarmer grabby dog. A piece of the skin. Oh, that's good too, right? Yeah. He's like, hell yeah, mom, thanks. You're gonna have a tummy ache. Eat all this, you're gonna have a tummy ache. When you when are you gonna say no? He's like never. And your and your fingers tasted tasting mighty good as well. You know what? Ow! 
little plucker. Take it nicely. That's my finger. Jesus, you animal. Just do it. I just threw it on the floor. Bit my fingers. Really bad. Fucker. Move. I'm just teasing. I love you. I'm gonna move ya. So I can wash my hands. Dang. He got, ooh, your hands got turkey stuff on. It must be turkey too. I could put my middle finger a couple times. That's all right. My fault for hand feeding him. I should just put it on a plate and put it on the floor, but he, I'm lazy, so. <laughs> and he doesn't like to wait. I'm going to have a really nice piece of bite of turkey here, and he's not getting any. Not Last bite. That's it. Not hand feeding you. Out your mind. All right, we are going to put these in the pans and put it in the oven. And we still have lots of turkey left. And this will make two dishes. It's going to make the pot pies, and then I'm going to turn it into ragu with some stewed tomatoes and tomato paste in this now. Because I think we'll have leftover. I do. We're going to have leftover puff pastry, so, and I think I'm going to do the puff pastry, not the, I don't know, I can't, I can't decide. I mean, they're both going to make my life easier. I don't have to make no dough. I should try them both, right? Because I'm making three dishes, I can try them both. The little ones, I'll do the puff pastry and then the big one I'll do the, the rolls. Sound good. Sound good to me. I am very quickly getting a pile of dishes in the sink waiting for me to wash them. Yes, I am. Okay. We're ready. These are clean and ready to go. No, they're not ready to go quite yet. I gotta spray them. Turkey pot pot. Where is my? The hell? What? Oh, what? Where'd it go? Oh, you know, I know my kitchen's a little messy, but. It's right there. I mean, I got more in there, but I don't really want to use it if I already been using one. This is. Um, Olive oil, expellers pressed, made with extra virgin olive oil. What's oh, Pam? Oh, I haven't used Pam for a long time. Okay, so Pam it is. Move, oh, please. I want to spray with the cooking spray so it doesn't stick. My paper towel and wipe the excess off the top. It looks buttery, not too sure. It does look buttery. It looks oily on my hand. <laughs> yeah, sure does. All right, I haven't, yeah, I haven't used Pam in an extreme long time. I think these are gonna be good though, I really do. My first time ever making pot pies and it's probably so easy I should make it more often, but I don't. But I'm, I'm doing it now. Have I ever attempted pot pies before? No, I don't think so. Uh-uh. I do not think so. Okay, so now we are going to divide this up into three, and then we're going to cover them with the dough and stuff. And we're going to put them in the oven, but the oven's not preheated yet, so I have this ladle here. Looks good. Oh, we might use it all for the pot pies. I don't know. I mean, I want to get the right amount. 
and not have it be like too much in the pan, right? Cover it with the dough. See, see if we have any left here and we'll put more. But I, I'm thinking a pot pie shouldn't be like overbearing with the underbelly of the pie. It should be, you know what I mean? There's a little bit left in there. I'm wondering if we should just put like a little bit more, right? You know what I mean? And just kind of spread it between the, the two. I think that'll work, right? Spread it between the other two left. Another scoop here. scoop. I think that one has a lot in it though. This would probably give me some. Yep, I'm going to use it all in the pot pies, which is fine. I could do, still do the ragu. I got still plenty of ingredients. I'll just wait a day to do the ragu. And then that'll be like two choices, you know, instead of, oh, I have to have this because that's all there is. But there's still some for sandwiches. He's been having, uh, we've both been having turkey sandwiches. Oh man, I can't get enough of that. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. A little bit of mayonnaise and pepper. Just on the regular bread. Yes. Thank you. Please, Dan, take it. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to do a load of laundry tonight. If I can get him to help me. Mm. The problem that I have mostly with the laundry is doing this, keeping my arms up and doing that, folding towels and whatnot, holding my arms up. Hey, there's, it's still not, uh, still not preheated, but let's see what we got going on here. I'm wondering if we should just use the butter biscuits. I don't know. I don't know. Puff pastry, isn't it? It's supposed to puff up though, right? Looks, oh, yeah, there's like multiple layers. Wow, yeah. Look at all the layers. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Okay, 400. I'm gonna need some melted butter though. Definitely gonna need some melted butter. Let me do that. Uh-oh. My other phone is going to die. It's not plugged in. Crap. I need to melt some butter. So I can brush it on the top. Should I br so the question is, do I brush it now? Or do I brush it? Yeah, I brush it now. That's enough. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's going to be enough. I'm just going to melt it. I have no power to my microwave. What is this? Oh, no, it's off. Oh, wait. So. Our, cult, our house was really, really, really cold, and and um, so I was like, babe, I'm really, really cold, and I'm hesitant to turn on these burners, right, or the heaters, and so I said, let's just do it like we did in the other apartment, and turn on the bathroom heater, and <laughs> I said, maybe, oops, sorry. So maybe it'll work just like, you know, like we had it last time. And we did. And it's nice and warm in here. It's not 
I mean, it's not overly warm. I'm about to go turn it off, but it's a noticeable warmth. I'm not freezing, and I have bare feet, so. All right, so that's for, oops, almost lost my balance there. And see, that's why I use my cane. And when the pain gets to be too, too much, I can use it to walk and hold myself up and stuff. And I really need a knife as well. Yep, my phone is turning off over there. I think it'll be fine, whatever. You know, maybe this paring knife. I don't want to use a raised knife. I think we're just going to try this one first. So, should I use scissors? Oh, I do not know. Oh, it's kind of falling apart. Oh, it's in sheets. Holy moly, it's... Okay, okay, I get it. Look, it's in sheets. Oh, you know, I thought I've used puff pastry before. I don't remember all the layers. I just don't. So, we should put it in there in layers too, right? I don't think we fold this in half. going to puff up, right? <laughs> okay. I think I'm good right there. Should I put just that one in the oven and see what happens? I think maybe. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's preheated. Oh, I need to move it up. It's on the lower setting from the turkey. A little tiny pan inside the oven. Oh my god, you should see, you gotta see this. Okay, don't come after me because my oven's dirty, but look at that. Little, it's a bitsy tiny pan in this big, huge oven. <laughs> uh, so hopefully it will work. Okay, let's go. We are cooking it for what, about 20 minutes? So those are looking good too. Yay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a break for the 20 minutes, and we'll just let this stuff sit here, and then when I'm, we'll check that, and if it works out, we'll do it. Same with this, these two, or I have um, these biscuits to make it easy as well. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for... Uh, joining me and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs>